What's up y'all, it's your girl Sinez and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So as you see by the title, today I'm gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video. I live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas and we are currently going through a winter freeze. So I'm stuck in a house with my daughter and I figured why not film a what I eat in a day? It's the perfect time to film a what I eat in a day. I'm gonna be quick and straight to the point with everything in this video just because it's a what I eat in a day. There shouldn't be too much talking, more so cooking. So let's just get into it. All right, so we're gonna start off by popping an everything bagel into the toaster, and then we're gonna start cutting up our fruit and veggies. Once that bagel's done, I'm gonna be putting some avocado dip and spread onto the actual bagel. This avocado spread I get from Aldi. I personally like avocado spread just because it's easier to keep throughout the week versus a bunch of avocados. I find that I tend to let my avocados all ripen at once and then I have to hurry up and eat them. So spread just works better for me. I'm topping it off with some pepper, red pepper flakes, and of course the cold smoked salmon. So this I also get from Aldi. I used to always get avocado with smoked salmon at brunch when I would go out and then I realized I can easily make this at home. So that's pretty much what I recreated here. Here's my breakfast. I have the bagel with the avocado spread, tomatoes, smoked salmon on top with some fruit on the side. This is about a cup of fruit, but once again, I'll put all of the macros and everything for this meal on the screen. And then I have this green juice slash smoothie whatever you want to call it i don't have a juicer i only have a blender so this was meal number one i will see you guys for my next meal it is lunchtime and i was having a hard time trying to decide if i wanted a salad or a wrap both of them equally sound good just because i know how i'm gonna make them i went ahead and settled on the wrap uh, i don't want to say settled because the wrap is still gonna be good but i went ahead and chose the wrap just because i'm cooking a whole dinner tonight it's also going to be for meal prep for the rest of the few days so i didn't want to eat chicken twice i actually made a wrap on my channel before i think it was on my meal prep video um I like wraps y'all, I like wraps. My lunches are typically very light because I have big dinners and I snack throughout the day as well as drink water. This is the water bottle that I have as of now. I used to have the glow bottle that was really popular on Amazon but that bottle was plastic and it started to stink um, over time and I didn't like that. So this is a glass one that I got from Aldi and it has like the sleeve and everything. I can't believe I found this at Aldi for one. I was surprised if you, as you see it has like little time stamps on it and everything and it has a sleeve and it's dope. So let's get to making our lunch. Okay, so these red pepper hummus protein wraps are the star of the show. I've shown these wraps on my channel before. I love these wraps. They're very high in protein and they taste good. I'm putting that same avocado spread from Aldi on top along with some pepper. And then I'm going in with some freshly washed lettuce. So for my protein source, I'm going to be using this oven roasted turkey breast from Aldi. Um, I used four slices of that and I'm going to go in with one slice of Colby Jack cheese. Try to add as much veggies as possible. I'm throwing in some shredded carrots too, just because, why not? Topping that off with some mustard and then we're gonna roll this baby up. Once it's rolled to my liking, I'm gonna put it on the pan and warm it up for just a few minutes. Honestly, it's just until I feel like everything is melted and just good. And now I'm just putting my snack on the side to make this look pretty for you guys. All right, y'all, so this is meal number two. To be honest, I would usually opt in for like a protein, like a protein chip or a protein pretzel or some type of protein pack snack that's like this, but I don't have any. So I just grabbed for my daughter's snack. So it was either this or like mini Oreos, mini Chips Ahoy and stuff like that. So Amina, Amina, give me one second, baby. I'm almost done. Amina, can I, baby. I'm recording right now, just give me one second. Okay, so um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this Premier Protein. It has 30 grams of protein. Me personally, I like plant-based protein, but these are really good on a whim, especially because of the high protein content and then the calorie is only 160. So um, if I feel like I'm lacking on protein or if I just need the extra protein, I will definitely opt in for one of these. These are actually my man, so <laughs> yeah. Okay y'all, snack break. I'm gonna be having this uh, Fit Crunch uh, chocolate peanut butter protein bar. Let me get closer so you guys can see the macros on this. 16 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, 190 calories, gluten-free, blah, blah, all that. So um, yeah, these are pretty good. I get these in bulk at Sam's. 
Um, nothing really much else to say. It's just a protein bar. I will see you guys in the next meal. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding some oil to our diced chicken breast. Grapeseed oil is my oil of choice. Next, we're going in with some garlic powder, cumin, oregano, and some fresh lemon juice. Mixing that all together, making sure all the chicken is coated before adding it to the pan. Here, I'm just checking the temp to my chicken. I always make sure my chicken is at 165. Next, we're going in with some butter. This is my butter of choice. It's not even real butter. It's like butter spread or something like that. I don't know. This is just what I have on hand. Going in with some more oregano, some more lemon juice, some liquid aminos. This is basically a soy sauce alternative. And lastly, we're going in with some honey. What we're doing right now is creating a sauce for the chicken. We're going to let this concoction simmer until it gets real thick and sticky. Now I'm just adding the chicken back to the pan so I can coat it with the sauce that I made. So while that chicken was cooking, I was prepping the veggies. So this is what you see me doing now. I'm taking fresh green beans and I'm just cutting the ends off of them. I seasoned the green beans with salt and pepper and I'm just letting them steam. So thankfully I already had a big batch of jasmine rice already prepped from last night. So I warmed some of that up to go perfect with this meal. All right guys, so this is my dinner. I actually followed a recipe off of Instagram. If I can find it, um, on another platform like Pinterest or something, I'll definitely link it down below. I'll also link down the Instagram below. And we're back. I actually just put my daughter to bed. It is the end of the day. Um, I ate dinner, but I am in a mood for a snack. I typically have two snacks a day, one after breakfast and then one after lunch, but I didn't have one after breakfast today. I just ate breakfast a little bit later. So we're gonna have my second snack now and it's gonna be like dessert. Kind of <laughs> should actually be hitting my macro goals with this last meal for the day. So let's get to it. I'm just now noticing this. This is my daughter's either her drool, her sweat, or a combination of both. Like I just finished putting her to bed. So when I'm holding her or putting her to sleep. Yeah, so that's what that is. <laughs> All right, so prepping this snack, it is nothing spectacular, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. This is the Oikos Triple Zero um, 15 gram protein yogurt. I'm gonna go in with some protein granola as well. A full cup of this granola. Uh, I don't remember the exact grams of protein, but I'll put it on the screen or in the description bar. Adding honey to that, as well as chia seeds and flax seeds. Okay y'all, so this is the end of the video, the end of my day. I'm going to eat my snack and then um, I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready for bed. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I like filming what I eat in a day videos. I feel like one, they're easy, two, they're helpful, three, it just gives me another reason to talk to you guys. So thank you for your support. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.